This video is about the vapor liquid equilibrium. Phase behavior of multi component or two component systems or more component systems are different than those of pure component systems because temperature and pressure, because these two are related, are not constant during the liquid vaporization process. This two diagram shows the relationship between mole fraction, temperature, and pressure. In this diagram, it shows the behavior between the two component system of benzene and toluene with temperature and pressure. And this diagram is called the 3D phase diagram. Basically, it shows that if temperature were to increase, then pressure would increase, and it, this would also affect the mole fraction of the benzene toluene system. This diagram is similar to this diagram, where it also relates pressure, temperature, x is the mole fraction in the liquid phase, and y is the mole fraction in the gas phase, which shows the vapor liquid equilibrium of a two component system. On the left, we see the relationship between pressure in TOR with the mole fraction of toluene, or it could even be benzene, from 0 to 1. Here we see the total pressure line, and this total pressure line is the summation of the benzene partial pressure with the toluene partial pressure. So as the benzene partial pressure decrease, then the toluene partial pressure increase as the mole fraction of toluene increase. And when you add this two point together, and you would arrive to this partial pressure, uh, to this total pressure. Benzene partial pressure will start, will continue to decrease as the toluene mole fraction increase, while the toluene partial pressure will increase with increasing toluene mole fraction. We can also take a look at this diagram in terms of its phases. In this side here, it's the vapor phase, while this side here is the liquid phase. Now this line is again the total pressure and composition of liquid X and we can also call this as the Lie line while this line here is the composition of the vapor which is P1 plus P2 and also called the Lie line. The line that connects the vapor Lie line and the liquid Lie line is the Tie line. So this total pressure line here is this total pressure and composition of liquid Lie line while this combination of these two partial pressure of benzene and toluene makes up this composition vapor or vapor lie line. Any composition that is within this vapor range would be in the vapor phase while any composition that is in this area is in the liquid phase. This is the equilibrium mole fraction in gas and mole fraction in liquid diagram or Y-X diagram for four different systems. Now for system A, which is the tetrahydrofuran carbon tetrachloride system, the equilibrium diagram would be close to the Y-X line, or the one-to-one -one line, while the chloroform tetrahydrofuran system, or B, has an equilibrium curve that is below the one-to-one Y-X line. At one part of the diagram, well, it's above in another part of the diagram. For the furan carbon tetrachloride system, it is above the one-to-one Y-X line. And finally, for the ethanol toluene, it is above at one point, but below the Y-X line at the higher X move fraction range. Now, where the equilibrium line crosses the diagonal line or the one-to-one Y-X line, we call that point the azeotrope. This is the phase behavior of multi-component systems at different pressures. A few definitions here are bubble point, which is the temperature at which a liquid mixture or a multiple component system begins to vaporize after being heated. While the dew point is the temperature at which the multi-component system or the vapor mixture begins to condense after being cooled. And these two definitions are used quite often in the distillation process. Now this is similar to the physical chemistry term boiling point and uh, boiling point is the same as bubble point and dew point. There's also this, def uh, this term called the critical point. It is defined as at equilibrium the properties of the vapor and liquid are the same. Now studying this diagram we see there are multiple lines. We have the liquid line and the vapor line and also this liquid plus vapor line. Now, anything above this vapor line but below this line the phase of this mixture or the system would be in the vapor phase, while anything below this line but above this line is in the liquid phase. 
but if it's within this line and this line, then it's a mixture of liquid plus vapor.